Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How are you all doing today? Thank you so much for joining. Once again, like yesterday, we've got a really impromptu informal stream going on today. I don't really have anything in particular planned. Just going to do some short races, some random wrecking, just some random messing around. Testing out my new graphics card, making sure I installed everything correctly yesterday and everything is up and running correctly like it should be with the new video card, so... That is what we are going to be doing today. Thank you for joining again. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Whoa. I don't know what this is. While you are doing that, for those of you interested, I'm currently streaming over on Twitch. As well as YouTube. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. And lastly, but not leastly, if you'd like to help support this channel and get some cool goodies in return, please go check out my Patreon page to find out how. Thanks so much to Adrian Fitzy, Jay Barker, and Drive Through for your support on there. Truly appreciate it, you all. Let's get back to this Enter 2003 screen. There we go. All right. The player. All right, so for those of you that didn't uh, catch this yesterday, I had to do a separate install of my main Mas uh, NASCAR 2003 folder. Sorry, loading up the stream on my phone so I can look at the live chat while I'm got the NR 2003 window pulled up. Come on, my channel. There we go. Oh, turn that down. No one cares, Austin Dillon. All right, where can I put this? I have a keyboard tray on the way on Amazon. Because my freaking desk is very cluttered. I have my wheel, obviously, my speakers. I have my monitor pulled right up next to the front, as close to the wheel as I can get. That leaves little room for my keyboard or mouse. So I've got that on the way to attach to my desk. All right. As I digress... Let's actually get, pay attention and get into this. All right. Let's go to Talladega 70s, 80s. Make sure all our paint schemes are working all right. We'll do the 30 Darlington ones. I don't want to use a full field yet. I was having a couple issues with this mod in the full field yesterday. I don't like that I saw the uh, that graphics configuration page when I clicked player info. Might have to redo some of the graphics settings. Hopefully not. Yep. Start your uh, I don't know why I did that. Alright, little lesson in NR2003. I've had to do this a few times in the last couple days, so I mainly remember this off the top of my head. Alright, so here we have our C drive. By the way, for those of you wondering, I have the chat and the face cam off on purpose, once again, since I'm just mainly concerned that NR2003 is working with this new video card. Just worried about the quality of that and that alone. Since I already know my face cam and the chat and everything else works fine, I'm just concerned about the gameplay itself, so I know that is off. Alright, so... This was our old one that was no longer working with our new video card, so I did a new install under test. It's under here, so first we need to go to uh, the core I and I. Where's the first number? This wants to be, yeah, you want this to be 14, or 1 million, 400, no, 14 194,304. Alright, that's all correct. It's the rendered G DXG that changed, because this happened to me before. I clicked on player info with the dirt one, and then it went back. All right, rendered DXG. Anisotropic level, I believe, you want at zero. This you want at negative one. Save that. Then we go into our players folder. Player, go down to where 
is the first thing we need to change. It's the draw ahead and behind distance right here. Both those are supposed to be 100. Enable car mega shader and shadow volumes are supposed to be at 1. That's correct. Texture quality 100, that's supposed to be correct. All right. I don't know why that changed. If we save all this, our graphics should be fine going back into the, the install in our 2003. I thought I installed the no CD hack. I guess not. As you can see, I got... What's it called? The reshader installed, so I need to wait for that. Maybe because I tried clicking on stuff before the reshader was done loading. Maybe that's why it was all weird. That actually could be it. Alright, since I haven't yet, I'll suppose I've got some shout outs in. Owen Furder. How are you doing? Kyle Bush 05. Gamer Vibes. Racer Pacer 20, uh, 2004, excuse me, gaming. Adria Fitzy. The Cool Milkshake, Pantalica, Andyman, 48, Toaster Gaming, how are you all doing today, Kozlowski Blaney Fan 12, alright, hopefully this should be working now once we go back into the, go back into the track, there we go. Now everything's nice and crispy. Alright, this is with the, uh... This is with the reshader off. This is with it on. Oh yeah, that's why. I'll show you why. Because I thought with that kind of... That little tinted look looked kind of cool with the older mods. So yeah, let's use a mod like this and then use the that tint in the reshader to be kind of that older look. It's not quite a sepia or sepia, however that's pronounced. Alright, and I can crank the number of opponents up since this mod doesn't have as good as graphics as the Monster Energy Cup mod does. Alright, so this is with reshader off. This is with it on. I like how it kind of has that, uh... I can turn the... I don't know what setting I had. I gave it that kind of colored look. Technicolor, that's what it was. And after that I just had vibrance and vignetting. Just a little bit. Basically just some saturation boost and some vignetting. That's basically all I have on the reshader. That's the difference. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, I apologize. I think my voice might start and we go uh, going out. I may be getting sick. Alright, the wheel feels calibrated. By the way, I need to make sure the audio is good. Let me know if the... Game audio needs to go up or down in relation to my microphone at all. Hopefully it should be fine where it's at. Oh, I do have it on desktop mode still. There we go. Now it should be fixed. Sorry. So yeah, let's survive Talladega 70s, 80s. A lap and see if we can because I don't think we're gonna make it a lap back without them wrecking oh we got one car below the yellow line already where's that black flag he's drifting up They're able to keep it together so far so good going on the back stretch at nearly 250 miles an hour now we are up to 250 Holy crap, we got a giant bunch of cars right in front of us. Whoa, we got loose. 
Oh no, we got clipped, and we are airborne. Holy crap. And we are flipping. Into the entrance of pit road. Holy crap. <laughs> we made it right to our pit stall, except just on the other side of the wall. You all right? Talk about being parked at a bad angle. All right, that one's getting saved. You blew the engine. Yeah, no crap. We made it to our pit stall, except just on the other side of the, of the wall. All right, that one's getting saved. And that uh. That official right at the entrance to Pit Road probably pooped his pants a little bit. And I went right through that pole that had the 76 sign. Parked. At a bad angle. Sorry, I have my keyboard at a... Speaking of bad angles, I got my keyboard kind of awkwardly set on my desk right now. That's why I'm typing so slow. Volume 2. Alright, let's try that again. I was expecting more of a big one, but that was still a spectacular rollover, nonetheless. Drivers, start your engines! This is more of my wreck avoidance practice track. Oh, darn it. Just trying to get my phone situated. Because there's like nowhere to put it on my desk right now. Maybe Drivers, here. Start your Actually, this engines. might work just barely. Come on, there we go. It's better than nothing. And it's not crash on the warm up lap that time. Ticker. For those of you wondering if you download the that UEI 2013 download that I have links down below, this is the Speed 2006 ticker. Oh, we got put in the wall by Ralph Earnhardt. It's the Intimidator's dad in the 31. Didn't even see that until I looked at the names in the standings. We're right behind the Intimidator's father. You guys say it Ralph or Rolf? I kind of actually alternate between back and forth. Whoa! There they go, there they go. Whoa, they're wrecking. And we're still green because no yellow flags are turned on. Oh, there go a couple of cars. Here comes more. Whoa, they're wrecking. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's a survival mode. No yellow flags. Full damage. Holy crap, did I just force myself five wide right there? In the middle, nonetheless. Is that Buck or Buddy Baker? Never differentiate the two. Whoa, and once again we're flying. Looks like a lot of end over ends right there. Almost made it back onto the track. And no surprise, our engine does not work anymore. You all right? <laughs> you all right? Yeah, major end over ends.
Jeez. What a wreck! Alright, let's see what happened before here. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think someone nailed the this wall right here. Right here, yep. 83, watch this. Boom! That's gonna leave a mark. Let's see where I went five wide in the middle. Here we go. Almost five wide. Looks five wide there for a second, but I don't think this guy was quite side by side to this one. Because he cleared him right there just barely. Did a fan get hit by the deck lid? I didn't even see that. Oh yeah, kind of. There's another wreck that happened. Went flying into one of the campers. The deck lid. Next! Alright, everything coming through. So far, so good. Uh, video quality and audio quality wise. I keep thinking it's blurry, but one of my contacts is weird right now, so it's my contact that's blurry. When I close my left eye, then everything's nice and crisp. But my left contact is really old, and I need to get new ones. What's up, Tropical? Howard O'Hara, LP424241. How are you all doing, August Herb? Try to hit that like button if you guys haven't yet. Rocket Man 13. I can't even see how many people are watching this right now. I just got the chat pulled up and then I got NR2003 pulled up in front of me. Sometimes I don't even like knowing how many people are watching. Just keep it a mystery. Green flag, green flag, green, green, green. Alright, get going, Earnhardt. wonder how old Dale was at this point in 64. I don't know when he was born. Wasn't he born on uh, 51? So would he have been like 13 right around here? Yeah, because wasn't he like 49 or 50 when he died in 2001? Whoa, we got a wreck. I might uninstall that smoke and dust fix. Jeez. That escalated quickly. What I thought was just going to be a simple spin for me, I think I got T-boned by someone coming up the banking. Ended up tumbling down the banking. Yeah, you can hear the impact right there. And I do have the grip turned up a little bit for this version of the track. Contact with the 72, that's what sent me spinning. I got T-boned by the 75, and that's what sent me flipping. I believe there's more cars wrecking up here. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Tiny Lund, who's in the 28? Is that Bobby Isaac? Is that his name, I think? Huge wreck. And boom. What was that? Three cars flipping in a lap? Jeez. Jesus. And crackers. Let's try getting through again. Drivers, start your engines. Alright, this is. This is without the reshader, with the reshader. I just have the vignetting on and a little bit of vibrance, which just adds a little bit of saturation. Frankie Rodriguez, your creepy uncle. How are you guys doing? Danger Zone. What is up, guys? Hey, 
<laughs> Peaches and cream. Oh yeah, that quote. And I need to watch Ricky Bobby again. I haven't seen that movie in forever. I remember it like the back of my hand, but I just haven't seen it in forever. I'm hoping for a massive wreck. A huge pileup I try to squeeze through. Earnhardt a little bump right there that slowed me down we got cars checking up whoa this is gonna be bad this is gonna be bad we're not gonna make it through here nope there they go we got two separate wrecks going on right now go low go low oh oh, oh that's gonna be a big one we got a car upside down we got multiple cars upside down how did we get through that I can flip over the wall. Oh yeah. First try. First try. Got a car over the wall. Reminds me of which I need to try that Jimmy Horton wreck at some point again. Where is these cars? Right here. These are the cars that start flipping. I think. Yep, the 49 comes up the track. The 64 gets hit. He goes up on side, takes the 72 up with him. The 64 goes hard in the outside wall. The 22 flips upside down. Then the 0 gets T-boned really hard right there, as does the 49. Jeez. He's going to side slap the 72. Here comes this car. He barely sneaks through. All right, let's try a different mod. Let's try a different mod. Ooh, IROC. Do I still have Cleveland? Yes. David Land gave me this idea. He posted a a clip of or a picture of IROC racing at the Cleveland airport. I forgot which year. But then it wanted me to do this combo. I'll do a, its own video at some point, either an upload or a live stream. Using this combo. It. Ooh, I like the silver. All right, let's do this. VJ Sound Rap and Rap Pandian. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that too much. How are you doing? Who else hasn't gotten a shout out yet? Dinoco's All Mind fan. Monster Toe. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Right, let's do a race at the Cleveland Airport Drivers, in the throwback IROC mod. This should be fun. Where's Earnhardt? Was Earnhardt in IROC at this point? He was, number 12. Forgot exactly this track's layout, but I'll remember it after a lap or two. I just know there's a sharp right hander at the end of the straightaway. Let's see if I can cut underneath. Yep, here we go. Break. Shoot. I think I break too late. Ah, we're spinning! And. We are wrecking, and we took out at least three other cars with us. Keep going. Keep going. Shake it off. All right, so obviously I came into that first turn a little too hot. I 
As did I that one. Alright, I'll remember the layout eventually. This thing feels super tight, too. Of course, right when I say that, now it breaks loose. Ah, yes. Tropical with the the Cleveland video reference. God, that's one of my favorite YouTube videos of all time. Look at our river that catches on fire. It's so polluted that all our fish have AIDS. This train's carrying jobs out of Cleveland. Our main export is crippling depression. Our economy is based on LeBron James. <laughs> Not anymore, suckers. He's in LA now. Alright, I need to see if I've got any setup. I don't think I do. I think that's why the car feels so tight. Yep. Nothing. Alright, what's similar? Kota. Actually, it's fast, it's flat, it's winding. Lots of turns, so that's actually a, a decent, similar setup to use for this physics type. Drivers, start your engines! Yeah, for those of you that don't know what I'm referencing, go look up, I believe it's still called Hastily Made Cleveland Tourism Video like a YouTube viral video from like 10 or 11 years ago. Get ready now. Going green. Paint cars in. There we go. This feels a lot easier to turn. There we go. It's probably got... Probably turned the steering ratio way down. There we go. No spin. Contact, but no spin. Man, we cleanly got like, cleanly air quotes. Got like five positions in that first turn. There we go, the setup feels a much better for this flat track. Whoa, get off the grass. Shoot, 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 shoot! Actually, thanks for straightening me out, Alan, sir. Actually worked to my advantage. Shoot, we're getting our... Shoot! We're getting our positions taken away that we just gained in that first turn. I accidentally wrecked. How could I wreck Mario Andretti? Ah! That's gonna hurt. No safer barrier there. Right on the driver's side door. Shoot. That guy's just standing there. That's not safe. Get out of here. Oh no, that was Bill. How could I have wrecked Bill? Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. I didn't even know that was him until I already took him out. Just catch the rest of the field cleanly. Oh, taking this one at a bad angle. As I like to do. Alright, here's the... The 
last little S right here, a little right left, and onto the main straightaway. Shoot! I just inadvertently went into the pits. Darn it. Yeah, screw the speed limit. You're lying. I did no such thing. <laughs> Alright. This is fun, but... I'm gonna need to practice this a lot more before I can not make such a fool of myself, so let's go to a different track. Different track with the IROC mod. Wilkes. That's it. Going to North Wilkesboro in the IROC mod. On this track looks how how could it have fallen into disrepair so sad Actually, feels pretty loose. Which is a good thing, because I want it to be able to turn quickly. Jeez, that thing is loose coming off the corners. Feels fast in the turns, though. As long as I can catch the... Catch them, there we go. Get going, Daryl. Boogity, boogity, boogity your way on out of my way. When did he officially come up with that phrase? Whoa, that's what I didn't want to do. Side on Ray Hall. I believe that's Bobby Ray Hall. If, that, if such a person exists. I know it's not Graham. Need to kick it up a little quicker. car is very slippery when I'm trying to go faster. Whoa. Shoot, I knew I knew I went too fast trying to catch him coming out of that turn. Starting to lose him. That's what happens when you get a hung throttle. Looks like we lost that motor. You don't say. Your front end's all smashed in. Let's see a replay of that. Ouch. All right. Let's try it. Actually, I want to try exiting out of NR2003 really quickly. I'll show you why. 
second. Alright, so on my left hand side is my C drive. There's a few other I need to cop over. I was starting to organize last night all the the shortcut files for just strictly my PC games, so I need to copy a few more of these over. Short track exe. Create shortcut, move that over here. Rename that. NASCAR Racing 2003 Season. And that's my short track install. So I got that organized. Let's see if that loads up right away the way I want it to. Alright, come on. Alright, here comes Reshader. I'm not going to touch anything until Reshader is done loading. Hopefully that graphics config page won't come up again. See you later, Pantalica. Oh. Oh, you were answering what... <laughs> Pardon me. I thought you were saying you had to go. You were answering someone asking what does G2G mean. Ah, darn it. Why do I keep having to do this? So now I'm going to have to exit out. Why does it keep changing? Going to my short track. Go to the core I and I. Make sure this is all good. Block size, and that is good. So is the cache size. It's usually... It, some reason, when I've been loading these up the last few times, it keeps changing a few settings in the rend. Dot ex. Dot underscore dxg file. That's what I meant to say. Minus one. Zero. Save that. Then the player folder. It's been changing too. Alright, draw ahead and behind distance. 100, 1, 1. What else? What else? Texture quality 100. And down to opponent manager, compression 0. Alright. For some reason it just keeps changing those few settings when I try to load this up. Alright, let's try to load this up again. I'm not going to touch a single thing until. Reshader's done loading. Not gonna touch a single key. I click a single thing. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Right, hopefully I can hit player info. There we go. Alright, what are my reshader settings? That looks a little too vibranty. Vibrance. The fake HDR, that's that's what's making it look really What if I turn that on and the br vibrance off? Maybe that'll actually help. I usually just like the vignetting, then just like a little contrast. It's basically all I really do with the reshader. Still looks a little too saturated, but I, I usually drive in car, so let's see how it looks in car before I start judging. Going to Slinger. Going to Slinger with the Outlaw Late Models. Shoot, did I turn full pace lap on? Yes. It is on. And I will hit 2 to go back to the game mode, game window mode. Here we go. Drivers, stop your engines! I 
actually like the look of that sound. Oh yeah, it's gonna be really loud. Get that turned down. Graphics look nice and crispy, good frames per second. This is like a slightly smaller wall stadium, for those of you wondering what this track is like, located in. Eastern Wisconsin, near my neck of the woods there, eh? I say that, I'm not Canadian. I'm not drive through. I'm not Canadian. line if you can at this track. You don't really have to use much brake at all. I mean, let's get off the gas. Which I do use a little brake. Take that back. Oh, that was loose. a car for the Hornets mod in this game. Because if I can swing it financially sometime in the next 10 years, if I've got a spare five grand or so burning a hole in my pocket, I'm seriously going to try to get into the the Slinger Bees, the four-cylinder Hornets air quote series that they race at this track in real life. It's probably the best chance I have of getting into actual real life racing at the cheapest level without it being just go-karts. Lots of your names in the standings list. Lots of people from the same area, I guess. Same name. Slinger bees, yes, exactly. Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't know you're gonna check up that much. If we can pass on the outside. Definitely got a good run. Shoot. No, that's gonna hurt. Not really tight coming out of the corner. Not gonna make it three wide. This is number seven car. There we go. This outbreak, I'm going on the inside. Whoa, except I get 
very loose, and then he powers past me on the outside. There we go. Make the inside stick without sliding. There we go. Once I get past this, on the 38, I can try to catch that bright neon car, which I think is fourth. One through four, then I'm gonna have lap track start dealing with except I'm gonna hit the wall. And I got like fifteen laps to catch the leaders. getting tight coming out of four. Fifteen. That white and purple car is third place. Let's see if I can at least get third. Whoa! That was supposed to be in a wreck. Same with me. So I could have gotten off the throttle. Darn it, we're going to end under caution in fifth place. I was just trying to go full throttle, trying to save that once I got loose. <laughs> That was a fun race. Yeah, once I once I started to get loose right there, I was like, I'm either gonna slam on the brakes and wreck myself trying to save it, or I'm just gonna spin out. And I decided to just go full throttle. Actually, it didn't end quite as badly as I thought it was going to. All right, next. Next mod, next track. Oh, that was my stomach growling. Cody hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. I think I might go get a sub or something after I'm done with the stream. Maybe a veggie over at Jimmy Jan's. Alright, where next? Any... PST track or uh yeah any PST track Let's do Langley that's a fun one to race at especially with the modifieds Drivers start your engine God, this track looks fantastic. 
Got all the moving flags and everything. Those moving flags, although a small detail, add a huge element to the tracks. Since I was already wrecked, I figured I'd try to see if I could go through that gate. <laughs> I didn't. Got airborne. with the modifieds. Lee is another good one. Anything by Project Short Tracks is amazing. Drivers, start your engines! One project uh, short track, track, where there's like a train and a highway you can see in the background with like a moving train and cars and everything. Right, I'll try Toledo next, since I saw someone suggested that. Control 69. That's not good.
that I wrecked, I shall give up and do a backwards big one. <laughs> Here comes the leader. My car cannot steer whatsoever. It's kind of cool once both your front wheels are knocked off. Obviously, you can't steer at all. Holy Toledo Speedway. Do I have Toledo? I do. Let's try a few laps around here. Drivers, oh, this one looks nice too. Start your engines! Decent amount of detail I can see, at least in the distant spectators, the signs. I like the sunset sky. I like that purple glow. Just gonna turn the three shader off for this one just because with that HDR it's making the white a little too bright at night. Right. <laughs> Holy Toledo Speedway. I'm all a lot slower at this one. At least they're starting slower. And I push that guy three wide. Uh oh. Uh oh, there they go. They survived an AI spin. What's up, Ed Soundhead? How are you doing? Oh. There you go. Nice. Speed at the bottom lane. Bottom line. Okay. Actually, put my car in control. No! I just. That was my fault. I get those two guys and took them out. I just barely drifted up into the the outer lane. That was totally my fault. Right there. I just barely clipped the 36, who just barely clipped the 41, or whoever that is. Right, let's try another mod, another track. With my short track install. Which mod do I want? Regular late models are always good. Ooh, I haven't done these in a while. The Euro late models, muscle late models, whatever those are. Let's try another project short track. Waterford. I want to find that one with the train and the highway. Waterford Speed Bowl. More moving flags. Those moving flags are such a nice touch on NR 2003 tracks and make them look so much nicer. Driver. This brings so much more life to the track. It's such a small touch, but it does such a big difference. It makes such a big difference. Logan Man, how are you doing? Look how crisp those billboards look. Project Short Track always does an amazing job with all their tracks. Just get up in the 
forth right away. Let the tires warm up before we start doing anything drastic. Don't want to get too aggressive, but this is only a 40 lap race and we're starting from the back, so can't lollygate for too long. Laps to warm up, then maybe we'll try going pretty wide. Try doing something crazy. Bump and run. I can get a good run going on the front stretch. We'll try maybe going three wide into turn one. I didn't get a good run. Only going to try going three wide down into the bottom if I get a really good run going on the straightaway. Oh, I touched the A-frame. Not get a good run that time. So I was busy sliding out of the turn. Contact with number 80. Sent me through the grass. too quick into the corner to make up for the ground I lost. Uh-oh. Get loose. Overcorrect. Boom. Limit 45. Keep it under 5,000. An on-purpose accidental huge wreck. Flag is out. Let's go. Race. Race back to the line. Nope, oh, we're going to want to replay my rollover is what we're going to do. Loose, overcracks. Oh my goodness! And that took out the camera. Rip cameraman. Alright. Next track. Let's try another. Where's the one with the. Is it Tri County? Where's the one with the freeway? Or the railroad tracks and the highway you can see off in the distance. Oh yeah, this is one of the cool tracks where we start this way. Another awesome thing. I know uh, WKC, Wild Customs Cars, aka John Norton has a few tracks like this as well. We start angled. Love that. And look at just the trees. I mean, usually you just see like the same tree texture just used a bunch of times. I mean, except for maybe these uh, dead ones, which I can't really tell because they might be angled differently. I mean, not one of these trees look the same. Just another this thing that usually just goes overlooked. The trees at an NR2003 track, they just put a huge detail and they look, they look better than 95% of the tracks trees I've seen out there. And the little small details that make the tracks look amazing. This is Tri County Motor Speedway. AI cars, if they have the room, they get a good run in the, uh, on the outside line. Oh. Alright, no 
Mr. Nice Guy tries. Time to start working my way through the field. Trying to get underneath a 36. That was an awesome wreck for a realistic crash comp. Ramped up the wall after getting shoved into the wall, smashed into the catch fence and bounced off. Got up on his side and rolled back on his wheels. All in front of the flag stand. Oh, that was a awesome one. Awesome looking wreck. I want to see the onboard from the number 36. Big wreck. Don't have any replay save for my short track install yet. Interesting. All right, on board from the 36. Is that Kenny Wallace, apparently? That's what it says. Or a different K Wallace. Jeez. Pretty realistic looking. Gotta give it that, by the way. Nails the wall, he climbs up because I f sh pinch him into the wall, he hits the catch fence, bounces off, slides around on his side, and back on all fours. Let's try a different mod, different track. Let's try basically the same mod without the spoiler, which is this one. Or without the wing, it's a spoiler instead. Oh, holy crap. My back hurts. Oops, not testing session. It's one of the day tracks. Scotia Speed Speed World looks awesome. North Wilkesboro, obviously. Is it Mana Manon's Knock? The one that I'm thinking of with the highway. <laughs> Look at the car in front of me. <laughs> oh, this game makes me laugh. Look at the scenery. There's mountains up there. This is in New Hampshire, apparently. Whoa. That was good breaks. First lap. First lap caution. And 
I'm down into the parking lot. <laughs> the pace cars in turn two. God, look at the just the pit stalls look the very train. nice and Looks like we lost detailed. That I love the Project so Short Track tracks. If I hit that banking and then just <laughs> rolled down into the parking lot, the pit area. Oh, I didn't even see that I was this car. Awesome. And down the hill. And through the front of the tow truck. Well, at least I'm right next to the tow truck. I'm gonna need that. Alright, gonna exit out quickly. Temporarily. Gonna load it back up in a second. The reason why, we're going to try going to a different install. Alright, so if we go back here. Papyrus, open wheel. Just try loading this up. Alright, don't touch anything. Until reshade is done in uh, loading. Hopefully, I won't have to reconfigure any of the graphics. There we go. God darn it. Yep, I'm going to have to reconfigure the graphics. Why does it keep doing this? Now we're going to have to exit out. We're going to have to go in here. I think the core and I and I usually doesn't get touched. Or it did that time. 14. Same as that. Save. I don't know if I ever changed this to begin with. Maybe that's why it's... Acetropic level 0. Texture set size negative 1. Save. And into the players. Draw ahead and behind distance. 100. 1. 1. I just need to... Remember how to do the rest of this. Graphics options. Alright, so I already did that. I already did this. Card detail to two. Which is that already. I already did a hundred and one one. Render speed weight zero. Where's that? And then texture quality a hundred. Component manager, compression zero. Alright. Now we can load up the the open wheel install that I have with the normal graphics. Hopefully. Now we just have to wait for reshade to get done loading. Try some open wheel stuff. Then we'll end with dirt. Single race. This is if uh, IndyCar still raced the Milwaukee Mile, which it should. You bastards, how dare you leave. Drivers, start your engines! <laughs> NASCAR. Want to get that out of there. Still have the IndyCar logo from before. So 
just a little off center. Right over here. Make it a little bigger. That should work. And that's gonna be a big wreck. Flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. There's too much debris on the track. Not just a big wreck. I just went through the wall and got stuck. Ouch. Let's try another race, see if I can make it further than one turn. Drivers, start your engines! I have some footage for me chilling right around the backstretch with my drone like a year or so ago. I should get around to uploading that. Just a drone footage of an empty Milwaukee mile. That's basically all it is. Still looks cool, especially if it might get torn down eventually. It's sort of historical footage, but... Decent. <laughs> I was a little too late getting in front of the pack. I got Sebastian Bourdais and Will Power. No, Joseph Newgarden. That's Will Power. I always get them mixed up. Sebastian Bourdais up in the air. Up on the wall. Here comes Rossi. He's going to get through cleanly, it looks like. Nope, Rossi just got clipped by Bourdais and got engine damage. Alright, let's try a different track. I'm just these ones because they're the only one made for the user ride height at the moment that I have. Go to a speedway. Where's a good speedway to go to? Indianapolis, duh. All oval.
good this setup is for Indy. <coughs> Hoping to flip over. Looks like we lost that motor. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be doing any racing back to the line now. Drivers, start your Time for a backwards big one, then I got a few more tricks up my sleeve. Before I wrap this video up. Backwards big one with the Indy cars at Indy. That is going to be disastrous. I'm going to do a, after this, just do a little bit more racing around with my open wheel install, then we'll do a little bit more messing around with my dirt one. Did my original, short track, open wheel, and we're going to move dirt, should be it. I know GTP works just fine, so I'll skip that one for some other time. Ouchie. Well, I flipped over that time. I got my wish. You all the pace car in turn two. <laughs> you all right? I don't know. You tell me after that. Let's 
go on board with Ryan Hunter Ray. Holy crap. How out of all people did Danica basically make it through that? Of course, like, everyone's involved basically except for her. She barely squeaks through. Go on board with Elio Castro and Castro Neves. The car that I painted. One of four that I painted in this car set. Holy shnikes. The pace cars on the back. Couple other things. I'm gonna switch this over here. This over here. I don't know why I always just like the my backup folder to be in the left, and then my game folder be on the right. I'm gonna go to sounds. We're gonna find the Formula One. I think this is the one I usually use. I use the IndyCar sounds, then over the engine sounds, I put the uh, crazy Asian designs on, I think. Right, yeah, that's the Formula One one that I want to use. Go back here. And our 2003, boom. We wait for this to get done loading. The reshader. IndyCar at Eldora. I'm not sure if that works. I've tried a few times, and when I do IndyCar with certain dirt tracks, I get that error message, could not load track. I'm not sure if the PTA is designed for certain dirt tracks. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, duh. The Formula One mod. Which is the good one? Is it this one? No, that's... Smith's an indie car. I think it's this one. Yeah. Alright, so since we got the Formula One mod, let's go to Monaco. At night! Ooh, forgot about that. Monaco at night, how interesting is that? Alright, we're just going to turn on automatic clutch, since I don't want to have to worry about the clutch with the paddle shifters, the Indy car. Whoa, why do we have the texture issues like that? Maybe it's because of the night. Let's just try day. Come on, no graphic issues. Why is it doing that? Do you guys see that? Flicker in first of all. I think. Is this 
the Formula One sound pack I was thinking of. Shadows, how do I fix that? The shadows off in the distance from the other cars that are all stretched out. Wow, that is distracting. Do I fix that? I have no idea how, but we'll worry about it later. I guess we're just going to have no shadows on the cars. Silly now with no shadows. Clear. <laughs> All right, I was just more worried about what was going on with that other car and trying to wreck him. Actually taking that turn. Yeah, look how silly the cars look without shadows. Although, probably use these same settings and use the night version. And if shadows at night. Drivers! Start your engines! Race at Monaco. Just a few laps. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know why those. Let's try turning it off now. I'm sure they're still going to be there. If I do this. Yep. Those of you wondering why I have the shadows turned off, it's because of that. I'm going to look that up after this video's done. There's a different car uh, sound pack I'm thinking of. I'll have to find out which one I was thinking of to use that with the Formula One mod. Originally made as a NASCAR game in 2002, I'm now racing 2012-ish style Formula One cars at Monaco circa 2016. Definitely probably not what the game program programmers originally had designed for this. What if IndyCar raced at Monaco? That'd be kind of cool. There's actually no pass. 
passes whatsoever. <laughs> that was a little bit of an over aggressive overtake attempt. Admittedly. Oh, now the yellow flag comes out. I thought I'd yellows off. Sound like the same car inside and out. I'll end with Destruction Arena with a regular mod. I don't have Destruction Arena in this install. Oh. God, my back is really starting to hurt. It's a little bit more messing around. Let's try the dirt install. I was using this one earlier. Hopefully I don't, don't have to redo the graphic configuration settings. Just have to wait for reshade to finish loading. We're going to use our, our Arca mod. And race it to coin. I want it to be sunny. I don't like the, how it looks when it's cloudy. Come on. We're just going to have to click clear weather, I guess. Official, whoa, need to get rid of the IndyCar thing on OBS. There we go. The unofficial Arca Series mod. It's the Gen 6 BR15 with the CTS physics. I need to check the volume. Yep, that needs to go down. CFD Racing, Zayer Bayer, how are you guys doing? This is actually one of my favorite dirt tracks to race at. A mile long dirt track? Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? Tray 13, what are you doing? Sorry if I missed anyone. How the heck did I save that? Let's go back to that save like a half a lap ago. I was completely sideways on the front stretch. Contact with the 45 coming out of four. Tried sliding up in him accidentally. Accidentally made contact. That slid my back end around. I go towards the inside wall. I'm off the gas right here. I'm just turning. And then look at how sideways that is, and I still somehow save that. And somehow don't hit those guys because I. Just went right in that perfect little gap right there in between them. Let's watch this on the board. What a save. Come on. a few times on TV, on Mav TV, these ARCA, I think they're all reruns I've seen, but I've seen a few of these Decoin ARCA races. too slow. I spun him out. Once I saw he wasn't going to get going, I just purposely spun him out. Then I saw this guy next to me. Wanted to try to pinch him up into the wall and flip him, which I almost did. Got up on his side. Back down on all fours. Surprised I didn't get hit by anyone else. Dirt stuff do we got in my dirt install? 
Got the Randall Sim Racing mods. Probably one of my favorites. The Dirt Late models. Where should we go with the Dirt Late models? Bone Crusher. Here, compromise. You guys wanted Destruction Arena, figure eight. I'll give you one better, a dirt figure eight. I don't know if we're supposed to start with the full pace lap. Drivers to your Oops. Went back too far. There we go. No yellow flags. That would be that would be silly. Turn on yellow flags for a figure eight race. Star M engines. I love that guy. Ooh, this is like the perfect field of view. Get ready now. Going green. Need cars in. Green flag and bone crusher. Now they're all checking up. Get going, get going, get going. That's right, they all go that way. Because the AI get messed up when they cross the, the LP line. Of course we do. Of course it is. Whoa! Already got big collisions in the center. Keep going. Your engine's damaged, but everyone else is spinning out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! That's even more damage. Probably leaking oil at this point. Whoa, we got more cars upside down. Aw, oh, darn, 50 laps? <laughs> I didn't want to do 50 laps. Whoops. All right, there goes my engine. You all right? I am all right. I just need to go grab my phone charger real quick. Alright. Come on, phone charger. There we go. Alright, let's do this with like a five or ten laps, not fifty. A five lap dash. Drivers! Start your engines! Without reshade, with free shade, without, with. It's a little bit of contrast and saturation on that. Vignetting, aside from that, that's basically it. Get ready now. Go I don't really do too much with the reshade. I don't go crazy. I, mean, I could go crazy with the reshade and do like night vision. Where's that night vision? I can probably turn that one off. Yeah, should I put this one on? 
<laughs> Perfect perspective. Where it's like fisheye. Come on. Third. Major wheelie. <laughs> How did I make it through that? Crap, I made it through. Keep going, keep going, keep going. The leader just spun. Come on. There goes the leader, that pink car. Their second place. I just lost the lead because of that spin, but now I'm back to fourth. Need to pass the pink car. Back in the third. Just about back in the second. The leader spun. Back in the lead. Slow car, slow car, slow car, slow car. What race is that Dale, Daryl Walter pulled from? No! On the last lap leading, we get clipped and that sends us spinning. And here come the two leaders. You all right? We just got clipped on the last lap. Darn it. Just barely got clipped. We have gotten through there cleanly. That probably would have been the race. Stupid Austin Dillon just barely got underneath us since our back end lifting up and that sent us rolling. There's no way the way that thing landed down hard on the front end like that that the engine was gonna survive. Every now and then if you roll gently enough, your engine will survive, but not that. Ugh, like a half a lap short. Drivers, start your engines. <laughs> Half a lap short. Get ready now. Going green. Get cars in. Better luck this time. Smoking. You already got big time problems with that motor. <laughs> we can survive four laps. 
ridiculous amount of damage. Slow car, slow car, slow car, slow car. Oh, we got more cars flipping. We're gonna be in the top ten. Seven. Just need these lead cars to keep spinning. Oh, he's a lap down, darn it. Am I gonna be in fifth? Oh, darn it. My engine finally went. Right as I got into third, my engine finally goes. Darn it. I need to be careful on this first lap to not Drivers, get that initial damage. Suckers. Four laps to go. Oh my the engine was working until that last roll. Darn it. The engine was working until that last flip. Once again, I got clipped. Like, similar to how Austin Dillon did. At least I sent him flipping, too, I think. The 55. Did I? Or did he just no stand? Nope, he didn't flip. Just me. Where did I go? Where am I? There we go. Darn it. Yeah, right there. I hit the gas to see if my engine was still working, but that little hit right there is what killed the engine for good. Darn it. Drivers, start your engines. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Get ready now. Going green. Stay behind the 77 car on the left line. Yeah, I don't know why I started passing them. I didn't want to get black flagged. That was dumb of me. Now right, let's see if we can still win it even though we had that miscue right there. So we get, get all these spots, because they like to spin in that turn right there. Another car that says no fat chicks. <laughs> taken out by one of those flipping cars yet. There's like three that almost hit me in that last lap.
Whoa, that 99 just hit the entrance to pit road head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Taking a slow car, get out of the way, Daryl Waltrip. Darn it. Got hooked to that stupid car. I didn't think I was going to win that one anyway. Pretty spectacular wreck, though. Yeah, I got hooked to the 75. It was too late. Jeez. <laughs> and he pulled a Tony Hawk. Did like a 50-50 grind. All the way along this pit road wall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, that needs to be saved. Let's see if he keeps driving once he gets off the wall. Your front end's all smashed in. Right, let's see if he's still driving once he gets off the wall. All in all, we're just, uh... Another car on the wall. I don't see if he still keeps driving once he gets back off. <laughs> Hilarious. At least he kept driving. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Whoa! Apparently I've already gotten a similar wreck, because I already named something similar like that. Alright, let's keep trying. Drivers! Gonna get going once we engines. win a race here. I need to get some food soon. I'm Getting lightheaded. <laughs> that was a pretty gnarly wreck for me, though. Went over that other wall, and then I smashed into the pits, into the pit boxes, and went over that second wall and kept flipping. Went over two walls in that wreck. Left side, they all start spinning to the right. So get on the left. That was weird. Just gotta kick sideways on that jump. Sent me at a bad angle. After this lap, hopefully. Maybe in tenth, tenth. Nice. Top ten. Car stopped on the left. Those are the two leaders in front of me. Those are the two leaders right here. I'm in third. Darn it! Right, yeah, no chance of surviving that one.
Darn it. Stupid 19. We keep trying. Drivers, start Let's your go engines. engines. Get ready. Can't go until we win a race here. third. Always seems like there's like two cars that get out of that initial spin in front of everyone else. Everybody's got to hang on to the lead for another three and a half laps. Not in the lead, that's weird. Although I know I am. We got a slow car up on the right. That didn't wreck me. Here's the leaders. This guy right in front of me, and then the pink car up there. Casey Kane, apparently, in the nine. You got a slow car up on the right. Go, 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 go! We got the lead. That hurt. The next car is the leader. You all right? Black flag. One more lap to go. We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. Come on, Kane, Ruck. You blew a tire. You got a slow car up on the right. You're smoking out there. <laughs> oh, I you messed it up. Engine. Looks like we got damage on the left front. Hey, there's Casey Kane. Looks like you're leaking some fluid. Hey, there's someone else. <laughs> Come join the party over all here. Right, Apparently, this is the flag. corner where all the cool kids are hanging out. Drivers, start your engines. Man, darn it, I just absolutely destroyed the left side of my car in that pit road wall. That was all my fault. That was all my doing. Get ready now. Go on the range. Okay, if we don't win in the next three attempts, I still gotta get going. So I do have to wrap it up shortly anyway. Third. Although it's not going to count that it's third. It's going to count those cars that cut the course as being in front of us. Yeah, it says we're only in tenth. Because all these cars it says they're in front of us. Which half of which is wrecked right there, so. It's not like it matters. Hopefully, catch up to them soon. Okay, 
Casey Kane, Austin Dillon, all cars from me. Whoa, we got a huge wreck. Big one. Casey Kane is winning, or was leading. I just passed him. Come away with the victory. You won! Why did these other guys even bother to show up? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a very informal one, mainly a test. Hopefully, I should be back on normally stream schedule with uh, NR 2003 shortly. Thank you again for watching. Please hit uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. And while you are at it, if you are interested in following me on Twitch, Facebook, or Twitter, links are all down below in the description, as is the link to my Patreon page. If you'd like to be kind enough as to help support me on Patreon and find out what kind of cool little rewards you can get in return for doing so, please feel free to go check that out. Thanks so much to Adria Fitzy, Jay Barker, and uh, Drive Through, excuse me, for your support on there. Really appreciate it, you all. That's about it. Thanks again for watching. Leave your suggestions for future videos down in the comments below. Hope to catch you all next time. Till then, hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.